up YouTube? This is this here back here with another video for everybody and today we got to talk about PlayStation All-Stars and when I talk about PlayStation All-Stars I'm talking about the idea of a sequel people and when I think about this I honestly have a wish list I would like to go over you know because I thought about Smash Bros and what really kind of got me to these ideas I saw the Sith Raw trailer pretty dope actually um but seriously though I really just thought about the Smash Bros. Then I thought about PlayStation All Stars, and then I was like, okay, here we are. Like, I got a wish list. All right, there's so many characters that have came to PlayStation new exclusives. Uh, a lot of you know, new original games have been made for PlayStation. It's just since you know the original PlayStation All Stars debuted. And now you gotta think about the characters like Goshima, uh, Jin Sakai, uh, Laura Croft. There's the list goes on. Persona. There's some people who definitely should have been in the game early on, like when the game first debuted, kind of like uh, Crash Bandicoot was the person who definitely should have been in this game, or oh, Spyro, people like it definitely should have been, but I think that was more of a right sort of issue, the reason why those characters never made it into Flesh and All-Stars, but... I still have a huge wish list. And not to mention, for the story wise of PlayStation All Stars, I kind of want there to be more to the story. Not saying that the story was terrible in the original PlayStation All Stars, but I do feel like there can be more added onto the story. And some sort of team battle sort of mode, and like a creative board mode. There's so much more they can add to this game because Smash Bros, as I recall, has all of these sort of features. And it's been a long time since I played Smash Bros Ultimate, so I can't honestly know what had they added new 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 to the game but i just do know that pleasure also has a lot of potential and i know a lot of people call this game a rip off of smash bros and in a lot of ways it it is okay that's not gonna see and deny it but it's just a playstation version in my opinion i see it as a playstation version of smash bros and in its own right it is still its own game with that being said like i said it's just so many characters can go through i even add connor from detroit become human on this game or oh, Ellie and Joel from The Last of Us. The, like, like I said, it's the, the possibilities are endless. Okay, you got Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake can make it to PlayStation All Stars. I don't see why Ellie and Joel can't make it to the game. I can definitely see them being like a team combo sort of like team that were together, and with Joel being the supporting character for Ellie and the team combo attacks, or two separate characters. However, they want to go about it. And I just want to see so much added. To this game, I don't want to see the potential, and I'm already hearing a lot of rumors about them having discussions of making a round two PlayStation All Stars, and with that, it's just so much to go by, so much to go on. So many games have been made for the PS4, and so many games are definitely going to be made for the PS5. The PS4 came out in 2014, so it's been about six years since the release of. The PS4. So there's been a lot of new exclusive characters have been made. You know, PlayStation iconic characters have been well known and very fan light and very well known. So hey, and you know, Spider Man. Spider Man is also another character you can see. And I know that's a Marvel character, but still, I can see him. He was a PlayStation exclusive, so I definitely I can see Spider Man being added on. You know, Spider Man PS4 being added on to the roster of a uh, PlayStation All Stars. Let's just say, call it PlayStation All Stars Round Two. All right, um, just goes on. And the list is so crazy because, like, so much potential. So much potential. I know I say it a lot, but it is a lot of potential. Like, this game literally can rival Smash Bros, in my opinion. And each year goes by, and the PS5 is definitely going to end up introducing a lot of more PlayStation original iconic characters. Like, right now, you see the girl from Heavenly Sword. And definitely should bring back all the characters from the original roster. Also, new combos with PlayStation All-Stars. No more repetitive combos, because if you ever play PlayStation All-Stars, you know how easy it was to get a level 3 with Kratos. We don't need that happening in the next sequel to this game. More more individual, unique combos to the characters. But anyways, and as far as my other characters I have for my PlayStation wish list, I definitely can't really think of any more right now. I'm pretty sure it's a really big, huge list. Uh, I do have one more. It could also be If Miss Second Son. The main character from Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't know her name because I never really played the game. Don't get on me for that. But I do will play the game someday. But anyways, it's like I said, list it goes on. It's just so many characters you can add. Oh, Sora from Kingdom Hearts. I know a lot of people want him to be in Smash. But I can definitely see him being a part of a game like PlayStation All-Stars. Also Resident Evil. Maybe a Nemesis. Anyways, you guys can be thinking in the comment section below about PlayStation All-Stars 2 and what is your wish list of characters that you want to see added in new game modes you want to see added to the sequel. And that's thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. See you.